Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. On today's video, we're on a 2016 Yamaha FSH. And in this particular segment, we're going to talk about the helm, all the different switches and controls and gauges. So if you follow with the camera real quick here, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing you'll notice right away, we've got a nice stainless steel steering wheel here. It's got a tilt function to it, so you can tilt it up and down. Over to the left, you have a uh, ignition switch with your safety lanyard. You've got your blower switch as well here, so if you want to ventilate air out of the engine compartment, just flip that switch on. I'm going to want to let that switch run for probably a minute or so before you start the engines. Also, one tip, some people actually take the engine hatch itself and they'll open it up before they start the engines just to make sure that there's no fumes from gasoline inside the engine compartment. I uh, don't want to risk of a fire or explosion. Uh, anyway, moving forward, you have uh, on the dash here a new feature this year called a jet wash. We'll show this in a later video. Jet wash basically pulls water off of the jet pump, uh, that pressurized water coming off the jet pump, and it uses an actual spray hose and nozzle so you can wash down your decks, wash down your floors or anything that you want to uh, indefinitely with the water that you're riding on through that jet wash system. So it's going to use engine RPMs to produce pressure. Pressure comes down the hose and you can use it uh, to, to rinse the boat down. You also have a no wake mode setting here and once you're in that forward idle position you can use three different no wake settings. Uh, no wake one, two, and three. And then once you're cruising, if you want to adjust your speed, every press of a button increases the RPM by 100 RPMs. So you have eight positive settings and eight negative settings. Uh, so you can dial in the speed you want. With the press of a button, you can simply just go up or down on your speed. You've got a bilge switch here. Turning the bilge on is going to activate it. Every so often, it's going to cycle through to look to see if water is in the bilge. If there is water, it'll pump it over. If there's not, it'll obviously switch back off. You have a live well switch, and we showed that on a previous video. Basically, your live well. We'll throw the switch on, it's going to begin to fill the live well area. Once you've got it to the level that you want, switch that switch off. Then you have an aerator switch, it's got a manual and an auto uh, setting. So if you want to turn your aerator on to keep the fish alive longer inside that live well, just flip your switch to manual or auto. Uh, your throttle setting is here, standing straight up and down vertical is going to be your uh, neutral setting. Moving one click forward is thrust directional enhancer mode. It's going to move your reverse bucket down about halfway. Gives you some additional control at slow speeds. Moving it forward another click, that's going to be in forward. So the gate's completely out of the way. You've got thrust. And obviously from there is forward throttle. To go rearward, it's going to reverse back to neutral. One click down, you've got the thrust directional enhancer mode. One more click and you've got full reverse. So you can uh, drive the boat just like you would a car, full throttle forward and reverse there. One thing I will say about a Yamaha that I really like, there are no push buttons, there are no gears that you have to cycle through in order to go from forward to reverse. So I can make control inputs in a docking situation or around a dock very quickly to go forward to reverse without worrying about having to grind a gear or pressing a button or whatever. So that's a really nice feature when you're moving around a dock and trying to load on a trailer, it's very quickly forward to reverse. That's nice. Uh, over here on the side, you've got your stereo system, fully Bluetooth enabled. And there's another video we've produced that shows you how to connect your Bluetooth device to the uh, Bluetooth stereo. Down the side here, you'll also notice we've got a connection here for USB and an auxiliary cord, as well as a 12-volt accessory outlet here if you want to charge your cell phone or whatever you want to do there. So if you've got a, a thumb drive or if you've got another way to connect uh, a smart device to your stereo, that's what you'll do is you'll connect it right there. You have storage found here. You also have additional storage found underneath this here, and you also have a locking uh, latch here so you can keep your belongings locked under lock and key there. Moving forward onto the dash here, we've got our gauge cluster here. We have a compass, we have an RPM gauge, and we have our speedometer. Within the RPM gauge here, we turn our ignition switch on. Once this switch is on here, we will get a beeping noise there, and it's going to cycle through, and we'll toggle through your gauge settings. So you have a mile per hour, you have a uh, temperature gauge, you have a voltage gauge, you have a fuel gauge, engine hours, gallons used, miles per gallon, gallons per hour, max miles per hour, your uh, trip, I guess, mileage uh, for your trip, and it is turned off on me. Cycle it back through again. I guess if you don't continue pushing the button for long or don't keep the engine running, it'll shut off on you. And there we go, miles and back to zero RPM, and then your miles per hour again. So those are your settings inside of the switch there. Moving on, we've got our horn. Pretty loud, right in your ear too. Courtesy lights. You have your nav anchor light, so this is going to activate your lights up on the bow, the green and the red light, as well as your uh, light for your light pole. The light pole is found underneath the um, uh, locker here in the front. We'll show that in a later video. 
You have your accessory switch here, and you also have an additional accessory switch here. This is going to be for later on adding additional devices to the dash here if you want to add a GPS or a chart plot or something of that nature. So this should round out our uh, helm department, our helm area, on the 2016 Yamaha FSH. For more information about your new Yamaha FSH, feel free to visit our website at jetboatpilot.com. On the home page, you can find a video tab. You can find a lot more video content there. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.